Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you for coming back. So today I am going to be doing a styling video. I have definitely said before, but styling videos are my favourite to do. I feel like I really get to rediscover new pieces in my wardrobe and I just really love the process of like putting outfits together and talking to you guys about them. Kind of from like January to... March time I would say. I find it a really odd season to buy in. I find it kind of pointless to be picking up loads of winter pieces um, when I know I'll only be using them for another few months. So what I try and do is buy some pieces which I know will work for the next few seasons but also I try really hard and rework my wardrobe um, using the existing pieces that I already have. As with all of my styling videos I have tried to choose items that you guys will have something very very similar or the same as so you can recreate these at home. But I'm not saying that I will not be shopping because I have done a little bit of shopping um, this year. Clothing wise I'm just trying to focus a little bit more on like like the coming seasons. I'm in this period of the year where I'm trying to use the things I already own. I really like to inject a few items um, to kind of like jazz up the outfit and make me feel like they're new. I feel like you can really, really achieve this with a handbag, some jewelry, um, a pair of trainers or some boots. And I feel like if you're wearing something new with an old outfit, you kind of get this new lease of life to it. That is exactly what I have done. I've picked up one pair of boots and one handbag and they all go with everything on this rail. Um, I got them both from Farfetch who you guys no, I absolutely love and I use time and time again. To answer your prayers, I do have a new discount code. I will leave it on screen here, but it is Nadia10FF. We'll get you 10% off of a lot of things, but I will leave all the T's and C's down below if you want to go down there and have a read. Before I jump in and show you my new items, I'll just give you a little bit of information about Farfetch. So they are an online multi-brand marketplace. They have so many different brands on there. They have items from over 3,000 different brands, boutiques and department stores. So honestly, if you're looking for something, you're most likely gonna find it on Farfetch. I have been using Farfetch for the longest time ever. Um, they have a really, really quick delivery. They also have a really easy returns and exchanges policy, which I think is a super handy thing to note. They say, if I am looking for something um, a little bit more luxury to inject into my wardrobe, it's always my first place to go because the actual shopping experience on the website is really enjoyable. It's very easy to navigate. It's a really pleasant experience online. And if you are in the market for something pre-loved or something from a vintage collection, um, they have the most amazing pre-loved section. They have Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Celine, like literally all the amazing brands. Definitely check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into my items now. I actually ordered them um, only a few days ago. They're both from the UK. So they arrived, I think within two days, which was amazing. As I say, I got a pair of shoes and I got a bag. Um, starting with the shoes, Shoes. I knew exactly the style of shoe that I wanted and what I was looking for and it was something like these gorgeous boots. These are the Jimmy Choo Eche boots, I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, and I have just been seeing this style everywhere. I mean for years I've been seeing it but really a lot recently. And it's this kind of like hiking boot, um, more kind of like casual style. But see with like the thicker rubber sole and then the lace detailing up the front. And I just think they look really cool. I think they look really effortless. And I think they're still a chunky style of shoe without being like a classic chunky boot that's been around for a few years. So I went on specifically to find this style and there was a few styles on there and it was hard to choose. But I went for these ones in the end for a few different reasons. So firstly, I really love this little white detail on the back. I think it really broke up the shoe. I think it will make them a little bit more wearable with different um, tones as well. And um, they have this beautiful lace detailing on the front. But if you can see there, the laces have different colors in them. Um, obviously from a distance that's not a very obvious feature but I thought it was just something really cool added onto them. Of course if you wanted to get black laces you could add black laces but again I think the kind of colour injection like breaks up the boot. I've tried them on a few times and they seem to be the most comfortable boots ever. They are calf leather with a rubber sole so they're going to be super comfortable and also quite cosy. So they seem like a really good durable boot. They do have a little bit of weight to them but they're not a heavy shoe which is nice. You're not going to feel like your feet are weighted down. The style is going to work super super well into my wardrobe. I think they're going to go with a lot of my existing pieces and actually on this rail I have styled them up with five of the outfits so I'm very very pleased with these. I did go for my true size which is a 36 and they fit brilliantly um, even with a sock they'll be great. Now overall I am just so in love with these. Um, I think this style has become quite trendy recently but it's not a new trend um, so I don't think they're going to be seasonal and will look good in a year's time. I think they're going to last me a very very long time. So next on to the bag just to show you quickly when you do order from Farfetch. It comes in a Farfetch box, but then inside everything is packaged as it would if you were buying from the store itself. As you can tell, I picked myself up a Saint Laurent bag. I have quite a good collection of them now. I would definitely say they're one of my favourite brands in terms of quality and styles and 
from my wardrobe I think they work really well there's definitely a good mix of like classic and also a little bit of edge on them so I really really love them okay so this is what it looks like how beautiful is this this is the envelope crossbody bag in black leather and black hardware so I knew roughly what I was looking for when I was looking for a handbag I knew I wanted something that was black completely I knew I wanted black hardware and I knew I wanted something that would work day and night so I popped on to the bag section of Farfetch it did not take me long at all I saw this one and instantly knew I had to have it um, and it has not disappointed I think it's absolutely stunning so this is what it looks like obviously it's in this lovely quilted leather it has this matte black hardware and then also it has a chain strap which is also black I just love that the quilt is quite a classic and feminine element but then the black hardware and the black chain brings in a really lovely kind of edgy side to it which I think that sentence alone very much describes my style so I feel like this is the perfect bag for me inside it does up with a little magnetic button there and then you have this really good spacious little pouch it does have a space for your cards in there as well but I think this is a really great size I'm gonna get my phone in there my camera even my wallet um, some makeup and whatever else I need to carry in my handbag so the space is great which is also something that I look for I do have smaller bags and although I love them in terms of practicality they are not the best and then on the back here there is a little pouch in there as well which is super handy for just popping like receipts or cards or whatever on the shoulder pad on the strap there is a tiny little bit of detailing if you can see there hopefully which just has the Saint Laurent branding on it so you could just double the chain up like this so it's a shorter strap or you can tuck the chain inside and make it a little clutch bag so I feel like this covers all of my needs and yeah I absolutely adore it yeah I think between the Jimmy Choo boots and this beautiful handbag I have filled a little hole in my wardrobe that needed to be filled so remember you can get 10% off Farfetch I will leave everything down below and my discount code will be on screen here again and without nattering on too long let's get into the styling so outfit number one is probably my favorite on the rail so I'm starting off with my little midi skirt I haven't taken these out of my wardrobe in a few months now it probably is a little bit cold to be wearing it but I think if you layer up you're going to be okay and equally if you're doing kind of like car to restaurant it's fine if I'm wearing them out I will put some leggings underneath no one sees them but it keeps you nice and warm and one of my favorite ways to wear midi skirts when it's a little bit more chilly is adding a really big chunky jumper over the top normally I would say if you're tight on top go baggy on bottom and vice versa however when it comes to midi skirts I feel like you can get away with two baggy items just a very very simple piece a very simple silhouette it literally just hangs on my body but what I would do is I would tuck it into my bra so it's cropped or tuck it into the skirt or add a waist belt and tuck it into that just to give your body a little bit more shape and um, I also really love the black and the black but of course this skirt does have a little bit of pattern on it so it does kind of break up the whole look and then I'm popping on my Jimmy Choo boots when I first saw these the first outfit I paired in my head with them was a midi skirt I feel like it gives a really effortless look it's still super stylish but super minimal and just like you've never even tried so even though I'm wearing all black and the shoes are black I do really think this little white strip does such a good job of breaking up the outfit again you're just kind of breaking up by different little elements across the look the skirt is obviously very feminine the jumper is just super cozy and kind of shapeless the boots are kind of masculine and then you have this really cool bag to add on as well and I think the whole look just ties together really really well I'm adding this as a crossbody and then I'm going to finish it off with a blazer jacket this blazer is super old it's been well loved and I've actually been on the hunt for something that is very similar and new but I can't find anything as good and um, this is basically a blazer jacket a lot thicker than a normal blazer it keeps the warmth in I use it as a jacket rather than a blazer because we are obviously in winter still I have added a little scarf over the top this is an acne scarf it's gorgeous I love the tone of it it's just the perfect color of beige and I feel like adding the scarf just adds a really cozy element it keeps it nice and casual it's got a little bit of fringing on the bottom there so look number two I have pulled some leather trousers any leather trousers will work with this I've pulled these ones in particular because I like the fit of the leg so these are faux leather um, kind of like mom trousers so they kind of sit on the hip but they are a straight leg style as well I actually think they're very flattering they're not skin tight they're not baggy they're just a really nice skimming on the leg so those trousers are from Zara although I love the leg of them I hate where they sit on my hips I just don't think they're very flattering so whenever I wear them I will always make sure I'm wearing some covers the waistline and you don't have to bother about it basically so I pulled a knitted vest I don't know how many of you guys jumped on that trend bandwagon but I definitely did um, so this is a knitted vest it's super cozy it's very versatile and I actually really really like the trend now wasn't sure about it to start with just to keep this outfit kind of girly and add some texture in I pulled this little shirt if you can see it has some detail 
detailing all over it on the sleeves. It's just a nice feminine piece paired with a really nice chunky knit. I really like the combination. Here's where I have this baggy and baggy rule. The trousers are baggy, the top is baggy. So I actually have two options for this. I don't mind it not belted, but I have actually added on a belt as an option. I turned the trousers up on the bottom and added on my hiking boots. I hate calling them hiking boots because like, <laughs> I'm not gonna wear you hiking, don't worry. <laughs> um, but I've rolled up the bottom just so that they sit right above the boot. I really like that look. I kind of struggle with um, straight leg trousers that hit a shoe, kind of annoys me. So I like to turn them up just so there is like a tiny hint of skin and you can see the end of the trouser and the boot. I've added on my Saint Laurent envelope crossbody bag. I'll just say it again, it's super handy having no hardware. There's been many a time, or no colored hardware, there's been many a time where I've picked up a bag Bag to go with an outfit and the gold or the silver on the bag just is like shouting at me that it's wrong so this is a really good option of handbag if you struggle with that as well then I've pulled my very big chunky teddy bear coat it has been an absolute savior over the last few years it's the coziest warmest thing I've ever worn in my life I feel like teddy coats are not going to go out of style I think they're kind of here to stay guys every winter I pull mine out I love it just as much as I did the year before definitely a chuck on piece but a chuck on piece that works super well with basically every outfit so I really really enjoy wearing them so next we've gone for a night out look I'm not wearing the boots for this one but these are a pair of high-waisted, super, super tight um, flare bottom leggings. I just picked them up from Zara, but I find them really, really flattering. I really love them. And I think it's great how they work day to night. I keep looking at all of my heels and my wardrobe and I'm just like itching to wear them. I thought I would give myself the pleasure of trying one of my heels on again today. So I've popped these leggings on. This is the kind of thing I would wear out for a nice dinner. Nothing super, super fancy and nothing super chilled, obviously. I love these leggings because they're high-waisted, but I feel like they sit at the exact perfect height on me. So they really sit on my waist rather than too high or too low. I just realized I don't have the top I was gonna wear with these up here. Basically, I had a very, very simple black body on. Literally what I'm wearing now, basically, um, but in the color black. At the top of that, I've put on this oversized blazer. It's a super masculine shape as well. It's got emphasized shoulders with the shoulder pads. It's kind of long in shape. It's just overall a little bit too big and it does really look like you're wearing your dad's blazer. Where the outfit underneath the blazer is quite tight and slinky and kind of sexy. I feel like adding the masculine styled blazer over the top kind of takes it away from sexy and brings it into like a cool genre. It's a very, very easy outfit to recreate, but yeah, I just love it. It's kind of like my fail safe go-to. Keeping on the theme of black shoes, I've gone for these gorgeous Jimmy Choo slingbacks. You might remember I showed you guys these in my last video. I've actually only worn them once since I got them purely because I haven't been anywhere to go, but I absolutely love them. So I'll link these ones down below as well, of course. So these I would say are super classic, super vintage. They have this really nice mock croc print, a little heel, so super comfortable as well. And I feel like the flare of the trousers sitting over the top of them just looks really nice. I think you can definitely add a waist belt if you wanted to bring in some kind of color to it. So maybe a gold like I've got on now or a silver buckle, but I've left it completely plain. And I'm adding on my handbag again with no hardware. So everything on me is black. Depending on what mood I'm in, I would either do my hair how it is now. So kind of these like bouncy waves or I put it into a very tight sleek bun on the back of my head and add some big hoops kind of like what I'm wearing now just something a little bit more chunky okay next is a very classic me outfit I've pulled some black high-waisted uh, skinny jeans nothing more to say there they're just the most simple basic black jeans ever I've then added in this little top again I think I've featured this a lot of times over the last few months it's from Zara it's a super simple knit it's just this lovely shade of nudie beige it has this kind of contrast detailing there um, and it's got a little bit of a high neck. So there is a lot of black in this outfit. I don't tend to break up black with color as such. So like this with a nude or a white or gray, something that isn't bright basically. Um, and then over the top of that, I've added my super oversized Acne Studios biker jacket. I absolutely adore this. I think I feature it in literally every single video. I love it to pieces, it's such a good item and it's also super warm and super cozy. I 100% will be adding my boots to this. I think this is the perfect outfit for these shoes. Super effortless, but also really, really cool. And I feel like that's exactly what this outfit is. There's very simple pieces to it, but the hero piece of the jacket and then the boots really, really kind of just elevate the whole thing and I absolutely love it. So this is, as you can probably tell, very much a me outfit. For this one, I actually didn't add my new handbag. I added this one, which I know you guys all absolutely love and I promise you, I check online for it 
every every week without fail and I just can't see it coming back in which is so annoying but this is a little Stella McCartney round bag that I got from Farfetch a little while ago the reason I added this is because this strap just does the best job I'm completely just lifting quite boring outfits that combination I feel like the strap is very loud the outfit's very simple and yeah it just works I rarely wear blue jeans in this time of year, I don't really like them unless it's summer, but I wanted to play around with the kind of blue tone of jean and those boots. I picked up these very simple straight leg H&M mom jeans. They're a fail safe. I've worn them for so many years now and they're just a really nice fit. Hem of those jeans actually sit right above the boot, which I think looks really good. They're kind of the perfect length on me um, with the boots. So I've added this really lovely chunky white jumper over the top. This one is from Mango. Um, I love the little pearl details in this. It's obviously a very classic style, it's a very classic piece, not much to it, but then you kind of get the light catching these faux pearls and I think it's really gorgeous. I would just tuck a little bit of that jumper into the side of my jean just to again give you some shape. I'm popping my big acne leather jacket over that one again. It's a super comfortable, cozy, chilled out look and I feel like this is just kind of my go-to for that. And when I do wear this out soon, I will be adding a scarf because it is cold. This is actually from All Saints. I've been really into scarves recently. Scarf that's definitely something that I like one year will wear all the time and one year really won't um not because of I mean obviously they're very practical but in terms of like adding it to my fashion and then again I'm adding in my envelope bag this body is always what I would opt for in the day I like to have my hands free and not restricted by holding a handbag or a handbag kind of like on my elbows yeah it's just a really easy piece to pop on and the final one I had to show you you guys have seen this jumpsuit time and time and time and time and time again. Um, but as I said at the start with the skirt, when I saw the boots, I thought of the skirt straight away. And then the next thing I thought of was all my jumpsuits. So all the style of jumpsuits I tend to buy and wear are more kind of like boiler style, a little bit more masculine. You can see they've got all like the pockets and the buttons and um, yeah, just boiler suit vibes. And I think these just look really, really cool with it. So again, with this one, I have rolled up the bottoms of the jumpsuit just so that the leg of it sits right above the boots and then you get the full effect of the boot. Yeah, I think these will work with a lot of my jumpsuits. I have a dark kind of denim one, which I think will look really cool. I also have lighter tones, which I'll start wearing coming into like spring, summer again. I feel like they're gonna work all year round with a lot of my outfits, but especially my jumpsuits. So I have been wearing my jumpsuits nonstop over the last few months. They're super comfortable to wear working from home Home, but also if you need to nip out or go anywhere they're just you still look really good in them and also they're super easy to layer under so I would put some gym leggings under some tops thermals make sure that all your heat is under them and you don't look bulked down so over the top of that one again I just reached for my big thick teddy coat I see if we are going out right now it is still quite cold and I feel like a leather jacket wasn't really cutting it with the jumpsuit a big long line cozy coat will work really well with this and with my bags I would do either option so either my Stella McCartney one which I wore a lot with this jumpsuit throughout spring summer again I think the colors on the strap and the color of the actual bag with the khaki looks really really nice I guess to keep it a little bit more wintry I'll stick with my black one and then even though this is black and this coat is black it doesn't so much blend into it it's different tones the bag obviously has like different textures on it and I feel like it just does a good job of sitting over that coat so that is all six of my outfits covered you can see my boots have gone with all of them apart from one the bag would go with every single thing on the rail so I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these items and I'm super excited to actually start wearing them now that I've shown you guys. Remember, if you want to shop anything on Farfetch, my code is Nadia10FF. I'll pop it on screen and also all the information will be down in the description bar. Everything I have shown you, I will pop links to down below as well. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.